All right, well, we're doing this off a of whim, but welcome to episode one of the Snowball Show. Is, yeah. that, is that what we're gonna call it? We haven't even thought of a name for it. We literally just came up with this idea to make cool videos talking about e-commerce trends, affiliate marketing stuff, and uh, now we're sitting here and talking, so Snowball Show, I think that's kind of a cool name. Yeah, Social Snowball, Snowman Show. Social Snowball, Snowman Show. We yeah. actually still need to make a mascot for Social Snowball, the Social Snowman. We that's, do. That's a work in progress right now. We should do like a, like a, like a, like a snowball fight one day with like snowman and shit. Like we're like have like a community snowman like race with like all the ecom kids like building. I think that's a good idea. Man. Yeah, we can make it a fundraiser maybe. When we like sell for like a hundred million. Right. Maybe. No, that's a plan. <laughs> so, all right. So Luca, you're you're deep in the in the e-commerce world. I'd say much deeper than me at this point. I've kind of, as you know, dedicated my entire life at this point to building Social Snowball. Yeah. Although it is an e-commerce software, I feel like I'm so much deeper in the software space that I'm almost losing on the e-commerce trend. So. Today is what, May 26th, 2021. What is the current talk about with the e-commerce world, the DTC world, marketing, digital marketing? What are people talking about? What's, where's the buzz? I mean, at least in my group, in my community, TikTok ads. Okay, and so are you talking about paid, before we can do it, paid TikTok traffic or like? Paid and organic. So, okay. So the organic system's awesome because now you've got kids who literally haven't been able to figure out e-commerce for years who now are just like making the same repeat videos on TikTok trying to trigger the algorithm. Really? And are just making fortunes. Really? So they're just posting organically on their pages. They're not running paid Correct. traffic. Okay. Correct. And then the paid traffic side of things as well with like Facebook and the iOS 14 updates, like paid traffic has really been like a huge solution on, you know, for me in terms of replacing Facebook with TikTok. Really? And dude, TikTok is just hitting and like really their, their support is better, their experience is better, just everything is better about it so far. So, you know, this is where we're printing money, this is where wow. all the money's being made. Because I've always thought like if I could tell younger Noah back in like twenty sixteen when I was first playing around with Facebook ads, if I could be like Noah this is the golden age of Facebook. It's not gonna last like this forever. You need to be doing everything you can to master this and spend as much money as possible. Right. Would you say that we're in the golden age of TikTok and in four years we're gonna look back and be like, it's not the same? For sure, 100%. And then even furthermore, it's kind of interesting because like we even you and I will notice like social snowball, like think about the people who are out there promoting social snowball affiliate codes, right? Mm -hmm. How many TikToks have we seen yeah. of somebody trying to hit that algorithm, trying to hit that like with their code. formula with their code. Yeah, yeah. And so like now people obviously like that's like step one in the entrepreneurship journey, but like, you know, obviously the DTC guys uh, on the back end are kind of just like, you know, doing this stuff organically. And I've noticed it's really been like the kids that have like really been trying this stuff for years that have been struggling, never really hitting gold, that are just like finding magic in this stuff. So would you say those people are mostly just posting TikToks and they're growing organically or are they running more paid ads? Uh, so like it, it's really the organic, in regards to those kids specifically, it's really the organic side of things. Uh, on the organic side of things, it's like it, it's different. But the, but the paid ads in general, I just noticed a lot of people that I know that have been doing Facebook, like dude, we're crushing TikTok wow. right now. And people are doing millions on TikTok. So my first question would be organically driving traffic to a website. Now I could be wrong because I haven't like looked at TikTok marketing in a while. But if I remember correctly, the majority of accounts don't get to put a link in a post or a bio. How are you effectively driving traffic from a TikTok to a website? Right. So if you make the, you got to make a couple accounts, but like one in every three accounts will be able to give you the link. Oh, so it's literally just yeah. a game. That's okay. like just a game of just making the account until it gives it to you or I think like over a certain amount of followers, but it's like not like what it was like a year ago. Like there's definitely those, those links, like they come, you know what I mean? You might okay. just have to get lucky on your first sign up, or like you got to go like two, three signups in, but you know what I mean? But that's a great question. And then as far as getting a piece of content to go viral, I mean, I've posted TikToks, I've had some of my personal go viral, I've had a couple of social snowball ones do pretty good. Yeah. Do you have like anything that you do to repeatedly get a piece of content to go viral on TikTok? Because it's really just playing the algorithm and I know like some people try to make videos that look more like ads, some people try to use big influencers to incorporate their thing in a trend, like do you have any sort of strategy? Not, not specifically, but there's a formula because I just kind of, I, I pay people to do that stuff or like okay. delegate, I don't do that stuff at least for my businesses on my end, right? Because I don't want to learn that. But I could totally understand how like the 16 year old that I'm paying to do it, who's you know, been watching it. TikTok, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like getting it, you know what right. I mean? Some people just can't, like you can't teach something that like these little five, high schoolers been on TikTok the last three, four years, they know what goes viral, you know what I mean? Right. They know what caption, you know, what the text should be, you know what I mean? What the thumbnail should be. Just like if somebody who's been doing YouTube for 10 years knows how to make something go viral or somebody doing Instagram, you know, but TikTok, I'm like one of those people that's like, 
I know I'm not, I know I'm not, I don't like TikTok, I know I don't use TikTok, so I got my like young guns fucking on it and okay. just, you know, excuse my language, but I yeah. So have you seen like, so from the TikToks that even though you're hiring other people to make them, have you seen like what kind of style does better? Just so it's, I can, it, just so it, give people like a yeah, general. Yeah, yeah, so people, so people like ask me this all the time, like especially in like my groups and stuff. And like I can't answer it other than saying TikTok style content. Okay. Like that's my answer. As that like, makes sense. As, as terrible that is, as, as terrible that is, but that's like the case. Like TikTok style content. Like you, if you understand what I'm saying, you understand right, it. Like right. if you don't, you, you need to watch don't. TikTok to, you know what I mean? to, to yeah. get what I'm saying. Like no, that makes sense. TikTok style. It needs content. to fit natively when people are scrolling Completely through the TikTok. Native. It needs to be like, oh, this is just another TikTok. TikTok. Not this is trying to sell me something. Co exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. And then Snapchat too, but Snapchat's always been good, but it's been getting better recently. Snapchat paid or Snapchat? Snapchat paid. Organic, I mean, I don't know. Organic right. is different. Well, there's also Snapchat influencers that just mm. have like big networks that post. Yeah. But, uh, I don't so with Snapchat that. paid, so from the people I've spoken with, they use Snapchat paid mostly for retargeting. Are you using it for cold traffic as well? Yeah, I've used it for cold traffic. I consistently use it okay. for cold traffic. So as far as the content you're posting there, strategy there, I'm assuming you want it to fit natively into Snapchat style right. content. Which is pretty much how it would be for any platform. A Pinterest pin should fit in naturally with a Pinterest pin. An Instagram story should look like it's a real Instagram story, etc. Et exactly. And then, you know, each product caters to a different network based on the demographic in which that network feeds. So, right. you know what I mean? Just catering the content. Like Pinterest, I'm not going to do a TikTok style video and post it on Pinterest. Right. You know what right. I mean? Of like a fidget spin early. They don't care. That's not Pinterest demographic. But if I had, you know, six of these cups for two ninety nine, then I'd put that on Pinterest, you know what I mean? Just because that demographic is more catered to that type of stuff. So do you ever repurpose TikTok content and use it as creatives on other platforms? Because I know literally just for Social Snowball advertising, I've created TikToks and I've also uh, paid other people to create TikToks for yeah. Social Snowball and then use those as Facebook ads and they've converted extremely well. Yeah, it works, but one way it doesn't work is Facebook content doesn't work on TikTok. So. Right. TikTok content works on Facebook, but it doesn't work on TikTok. Have you used TikTok content on Snapchat? Uh, yeah, it works on Snapchat. Okay. So, but you can just see, because I feel like Snapchat and TikTok are relatively the same. It's similar. The same, same, similar person for sure. Yeah. Uh, in the same boat. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I also, you know, just from social snowball experience, pushed really crazy affiliate marketing campaigns through the TikToks oh, really? things with just like influencers saying, hey, you know, this is, you know, my discount code, go use this product, whatever. You know, it's kind of dope for them because it's like when they do that type of stuff, like it's just like, okay, they get paid the next day. You know what I mean? Like there's no profit and loss. There's no BS. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And so I've had people say like, yo, uh, become an affiliate, you know, get this for, you know, for, you know, 50% off or whatever, whatever it may be. And kind of push this narrative of like, uh, like I'm an influencer, do what I'm doing, you know, use this discount code, make money. You know what I mean? Okay. So you have, you have people on TikTok like, uh, like promoting to become an affiliate for your brand. Correct. Interesting. Using, okay. So trying to push at, rather than trying to push the sale of, of, you know, of, of the product, right. but pushing more affiliates. Okay. So you're as, actually like, like uh, recruiting sales reps essentially for your brand. Exactly. Using saying, social snowballs saying, as, hey, as a back end. Exactly. Saying, Hey, I'm an influencer. This is how I'm making money. Become an influencer, make money too, as well as get this product on a discount. And you see, this is like, this is where, you know, me and you talk about this, but we've had programs similar like this that have made us like millions of dollars. Yeah, where it's yeah. like, and that's what people think. Like you, you sometimes like social snowball is a great example of like a tool given to you. And on a surface level, it seems kind of simple, but if you like get creative and right. intuitive with it, you can make a lot of money. Right. Like that's where I think the people who excel in the space and really make millions of dollars versus the people who don't is those people who can take it a next level take it to the next level with creativity and intuitiveness and ingenuity and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that'd be a great case study. Maybe we can make another video and just yeah, like we'll a case study that, for that, yeah. but that'd be sick. Yeah. Cool. Any other trends that you're noticing going crazy right now? Social snowball, baby. Social snowball. It's a great I, trend. I mean, how many users do we have right now? Uh, almost, just shy of a thousand. What are we today. growing month over month, do you know? User base? Uh, I think about 80%. Month over month, which it's is crazy. definitely pretty crazy. We'll yeah. Keep that up for twelve months. We'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah, forever. <laughs> Literally. Good shit. Cool. Well, all right. Well, this was episode one of the Snowball Show, unless we decide to rename it. 
Uh, maybe we'll bring some guests on another time. We could kind of get creative with it, but really the whole point of the show is that we just talk about e-commerce and direct-to-consumer trends that are happening. If you guys have ideas of stuff that you want us to talk about, you know, Luke and Nets is the goat here with e-commerce stuff. He has Nets Commerce, which is like the most amazing group of e-commerce entrepreneurs ever. Like I've been in your Discord, it's crazy. Like the value that's that's given there. Um, I'm sure a lot of you watching probably are in it as well, so you guys know. But if you guys have any other topics that you want us to discuss, we're going to try to make these every week. Maybe every other week it's going to be difficult because we're going to be back and forth with, uh, between LA and Miami. But whenever we get a good topic and we want to film something, we're going to make one. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Later, boys. Like and subscribe.